Okay, in this lesson we're going to derive the commutator identity that you see here. So it's an identity for three operators. We have the commutator of the product a times b with the third operator c. And this identity is useful because it expresses this in terms of commutators of just two operators at a time, b with c and then a with c. And this identity is very useful in quantum mechanics. So to derive it, we'll use a useful formula for the product of two operators. So what's this formula that we'll use? Well, it's very simple. We take a times b, and we write it as a times b minus b times a plus b times a. So we just added and subtracted b times a. And then now this is equal to a commutator with b plus b times a. So that's the formula that will allow us to derive this identity. So let's see how this derivation works. So to start, we'll write out this commutator in more detail. So this is equal to a b c minus c a b. And now what we'll do is we're going to apply our formula first to the product of b and c here in the first term. So we write that this is equal to a times b commutator c plus c b. And then we have the last term here, c a b. Now we can expand this out to get a times b commutator with c. That's the first term in our identity. Then we have acb minus cab. And we're almost done now. The next thing to do is apply our formula again, but now to this product ac. So we'll do that here. The first term just comes along for the ride. And then in the second term, we'll write AC is equal to A commutator C plus CA all times B minus CAB. Now we'll just expand out the second term. And now we can see what happened here. We've moved this C all the way to the left. So now these last two terms just cancel each other. These terms cancel. And what we're left with is exactly the terms that appear in our identity. So that's the end of this lesson.